Kid Craddock in the morning. The Showbiz Top 5. Hey, it's Kelly Raspberry with your Showbiz Top 5 for Tuesday. It is September 29th. I just told myself that before we started filming, and it poof like that. All right, Simon Cowell is going to bring his British reality show called The X Factor to the United States. Word is he was holding out on signing on again for American Idol until Fox agreed to bring over this show, too. The deal worth $103 million, allegedly. Now, this has a lot of similarities to America's Got Talent as far as the audition process. It can be groups, not just solo artists and they audition in front of the crowd and the judges. So that's the America's Got Talent, you know, similarity there. At that point, when they make it through the audition rounds, there are four judges, and the, the people that make it through, groups or solo acts, are divided into age categories, 16 to 24, male and female, and then 25 and up, male and female. And then each judge is assigned to one of those categories, and they are the mentor for that group. And then you have the talent competition, and then you have uh, America will be voting. Now, the British version brought us Leanna Lewis. There's no telling what's going to come from this new American version. We do hear Paula Abdul is being considered as one of the judges for The X Factor. Now, after hosting the season premiere of Saturday Night Live, Megan Fox wanted to get her party on at the after party, and she brought Brian Austin Green with her, her former fiancé. They've been on again, off again, on again. Well, sources say they were very much on. In fact, they were getting it on on the dance floor, dancing until 4 o'clock in the morning. The same night, Khloe Kardashian married Lamar Odom. Kim Kardashian hightailed it out of that reception straight to the airport wearing her Mr. and Mrs. Odom hoodie, sweatshirt, and sweatpants. And she says she was just overcome by emotion at the wedding, could not stop thinking about Reggie and Reggie Bush and how much she wanted to be with him. So she flew straight to New Orleans and they are officially back on after taking a few months apart to figure out you know, how they're going to make their relationship work. Britney Spears wrapped up the North American leg of this part of her seven-month tour at Mandalay Bay in Las Vegas Sunday night, and a surprise guest joined her on stage. She had no idea that Lance Bass would be sitting there for that little uh, lap dance portion she does. She never touches the guy on stage, but maybe she did a little touchy-touchy with Lance Bass, and she knows he's a good buddy, and he's gay. What's he going to do, right? So anyway, also in the crowd that night, Molly Cyrus, Spice Girl, uh, Scary Spice, Mel B. And then she also had her kids with her. So when she wasn't on stage performing, she took them to the uh, Mirage's Sugar Factory and reportedly spent $3,000 on sweet stuff. Lots of gourmet lollipops for her backup dancers. Walked out with uh, 10 bags worth of candy and had the rest delivered to her hotel suite. Finally, Candy Burris from The Real Housewives of, the, of Atlanta. She's the one they brought in this season to kind of shake things up after... You know, last season had one dud that just kind of went away. Never mentioned her again. Anyway, she's supposed to be engaged to this guy named Ashley who has six children by what? Four baby mamas, I think it is. Numerous baby mamas, we'll just say that. Never married any of them. And Candy's mama's had a serious problem with this relationship, has refused to support it, so much so that it's brought Candy to tears as she's tried to bring them all together as one healthy family unit. Well, now the wedding's on hold. In fact, uh, we hear they're broken up, but Candy prefers to use the term on hiatus. And she insists it has nothing to do with the fact that he has all these kids from other women. Um, but she won't say what it actually has to do with. So maybe they'll uncover this for us on Bravo. I don't know. That remains to be seen. Or maybe this season's already in the can and we have to wait till next season to find out. I don't know how these things work. But that is your show, this Top 5 for Tuesday.